Hello and welcome back to Jellyfish Gamer 25. Slightly uh, unshaven this week as it's a uh, week off work, so I'm um, taking it easy. Um, so this week, guys, I've got quite a lot of hobbying done, as you'll see. Um, I'm looking down at them. Um, and as well, uh, me and Goose managed to have a game of Necromunda or two at Warhammer World. So I know you've seen on his video, he was um, very excited. He thought he'd be playing Chaos Cultists. He wasn't. <laughs> there was a reason for that. They weren't finished. Um, so he played against my Escher Warband. Uh, before I go into what happened for the day, I'll go into the overview of what I've got done, show you the Chaos Cultists, and then we'll talk about what me and Goose have been up to, uh, and as well as what I'm planning to do next. Okay guys, this is what I've been up to this week. So I have finished my Chaos Cultist Warband. So I've got a, a leader here. It's the uh, Chaos Cultist Band. It's the, um, oh God, it's from the start set that you could get. It's got a nice little shotgun and sword. Uh, most of these guys are just straight from the box, just been painted up just to, just to look, well, just ready for ready for the fight as it were. Got Flamer in there, because why not? Um, I also then converted a little guy, so this is, uh, I got this in, I think the Age of Sigma is the box set that you could get, like a little mini starter one. Uh, I had a spare chainsaw, I had one of the old Necromunda shotguns, one of the old metal ones, and I thought, yeah, he's a, he's a cool champion, why not, you know, he's dedicated to corn as it were. And then went to Forge World, and I picked up these guys, so these are the Rogue Psychers from Forge World. Um, really fun to paint, just, I always wanted an excuse to buy these guys, and I did have one for a Chaos Cultist band. Um, so I've gone for like a blue lightning and then a purple lightning coming out of this guy. Uh, just to give it a bit of difference, so there were my uh, witches in the band, as it were. I then thought, well, hang on a minute, you need Roast of the Fluff, and the Fluff talk about maybe a patron or a dark god. So then I thought, well, let's have a Night Lord. Let's have one of the um, Space Marines in there, one of the the Chaos Space Marines. So I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll get a, a Night Lord painted up. Um, me and Goose are then going to talk about doing some rules for him or something. He's not he's not he's going to be more of a non-playable character than actually part of the warband, you know, like, so for certain scenarios he might be involved and we'll make him absolutely ridiculous. Um, and then <laughs> found one of my old blood letters and thought, well, you know, in case the summoning does go wrong, what happens if they summon a blood letter in? So I was like, oh, well, we'll, we'll keep that demon in there. <laughs> Why not? Um, I... So, and I've also been working on at the back there, um, just some Feral Uruk High, that's for the Hobbit um, strategy battle game. So these are for Joe, um, who uh, asked, well, as, as kindly asked, well, asked me could he borrow them uh, after I offered him, so kind of a weird one. Um, well, it's not a weird one, it was my choice, I don't know. It's, it's, I'm trying to get this out before Friday, and then I have another forfeit for Goose. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've got done this week, so a lot more than I did previously in the other weeks. Um, no forfeit for me, Goose. Um, I'm currently working on a secret Necromunda project that I can't talk about because it will be a present for someone. Uh, not you, Goose. Sorry, buddy. But no, I don't like it that much. I'm joking, really, Goose. Um, I then also have some Scum, the Scum set, which we picked up on Warhammer World to get done. And yeah, and... Hopefully me and Goose will have a few more games lined up for you soon. Alright, we'll go back to the overview. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. Some of the Chaos Cultists and some Feral Loric High that I managed to get done this week. Um, so quite a bit more than normal. Um, I'm quite happy with that. Quite a bit done. I'm still working on a few bits and pieces here and there. I have a secret project which you won't be able to see. Um, I do have yeah another an apology. So I did record a, a battle of the Hobbit strategy battle game uh, with myself and Joe. I thought it worked fantastic. Although then my camera phone that I was using decided that it won't allow me to connect it to my computer. I've tried Bluetoothing it. I've tried putting a SIM card in it. I've tried connecting it via a cable. It, that's probably the reason I stopped using the phone to be honest. Um, and if I email it myself, it compresses it down to an awful format. So what I'm going to do is I've cleared off my iPhone. It's what I've been doing now. Um, so that I know how loads of spare memory space in there. So we can actually record some, some better videos again. Um, so hopefully if uh, Joe's doesn't mind, we'll uh, record another battle report. Which is quite good because I was a bit rusty in that game. Uh, I was having to get my head back around the game. Ah, there were some great dice rolls in that though. So I, I'll do my best to try and get it off the the, the phone. I almost swore <laughs> off the phone. I'll um, look. Uh, hmm, might have to speak to an IT guy. Uh, Craig. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so um, anyway, myself and Goose had a few games of Necromunda. It was absolutely fantastic, that game. So for any of you that not, I have no idea what Necromunda is, um, yeah, go on, we'll put a picture up now. <laughs> That's for me to do something. Um, so there's some pictures that uh, I took. He says, hopefully, might not be. Depends on a fan. Uh, so Necromunda, effectively, think of it more like Mad Max set in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Um, you have these little warbands, gangs that you grow and you uh, play with uh, in the sense that you see them expand, you see them get new skills, you see them upgrade, uh, you equip them with weapons and stuff. You, you, you then start to feel for your characters. So I started off with the, the Escher gang, which I called the Flying Squirrels, um, because squirrels are pesky and never trust a squirrel. Never trust a squirrel. Um, uh, shrimpy will know what I mean. Um, and it was, it was fantastic. So my leader read uh, first game, Toxin darted one of uh, Rob's champions and uh, took him out completely, like out of the campaign, just <laughs> uh, But his brother, his twin brother, <laughs> who was armed with exactly the same weapons, managed to make an appearance in the third game. Uh, although Red didn't didn't do so well, so I had a great idea of throwing a beast's lair down. So we were playing uh, one of the third mission we played, um, I remember this so well because it was hilarious in that Goose had to try and steal these loot boxes but I thought, oh I've got, I had to draw two random tactics cards and one of them was the Beast Slayer and I thought, oh this would be great, I'll, you know, I'll pile my ta my crates up and I'll, I'll play this. Yeah, well it's great, unfortunately it killed everyone else, it took about three people out, it took Red down to basically toughness, really low toughness, um, to the point where Goose Man shot her with a harpoon gun, um, the harpoon gun killed her. <laughs> so I rolled for the critical injury and uh, she had to go to the doctors. Both my champions were out um, because one of them had gone out fighting gloriously, the other got shot in the back by one of her own people. Um, so we'll be having words with that person. Um, yeah, it didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't go well. Uh, so Red Red died, unfortunately. I was absolutely gutted because she was doing really well and, and levelling up pretty good. Um, but that then led the game on. on. Uh, we then played a game where Rob uh, Gooseman had to um, at, at sort of um, destroy an item within my um, base, and I asked him. I said, "Well, why don't we do this as Red's funeral?" And you are know, trying to disrupt the funeral. So we had this great big crane at Warhammer World. Uh, it was on the board, really lovely boards, um, and it was fantastic. So Goose tried to tried to sneak in there. He hit it, hit it with his servo claw, thinking he'd. I, I thought he destroyed it in one. Uh, rolled pretty much ones and twos. It was, it was hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. I laughed hard at him. Um, and then Lola, my uh, power sword wielding killbot, as I'm calling her at the minute, just sliced through all his guys. Um, and then he ran away promptly, promptly ran away, which we all laughed about. But for any of you that are interested in Necromunda, I would fully recommend trying it. Um, any of you that think, oh, I'm not so sure about 40k or Warhammer in general, Necromunda I think is a very good intro game, it allows you to, it's a very simple, um, easy to play, it, you know, it's, it's narrative driven, so, you know, as your characters expand, you'll see them grow, so we've got the Chaos Cultists, um, so hopefully one of them will turn into a great big jabbering spawn thing at some point, which will just be hilarious for everyone, I know Goose is very keen to see that, <laughs> as I am. I am. Um, we've also picked up uh, the old uh, Gang War 3, uh, which gives you a lot more. So um, it, it's really good. I'm going to try and uh, record um, a Necromunda game. I know I always say I'm going to record stuff and you never get anything off of me, and I am sorry for that. Uh, for, it is frustrating that that camera didn't work. Um, but, you know, we're not a professional set uh, like Mini Wargaming or Bits Box or any of the others out there, Gorilla Miniatures. Um, we're just using what we have to hand. So I have cleaned off the iPhone. Uh, we will be um, using the iPhone from now on uh, for recording because I'm able to record and you know it's not too bad quality as you guys see the close of my minis. Um, so yeah, so hopefully uh, oh, I have no idea what we're doing next week. I don't know. I can't even show you the secret project because that's a present. Um, I don't know, look round. You guys, yeah, this is great content for you guys. I'll work out something. Well, we'll find something to work out. Uh, I'll paint something next week. I don't know. Autistic Jedi, if you have any ideas of what I should paint, probably you'll find something that I'll paint for you. Um, but yeah, so thank you for joining us, guys, and uh, hopefully see you soon.